The Pacers just got Pascal Siakam, two-time All-NBA, two-time All-Star, um, NBA champion, second best team on the Raptors team that won that championship. The spin master McFlurry himself, Spicy P, is coming to the IND. Um, with this is a lot of hype. A lot of people in Indiana getting excited, saying the Pacers are back. Pacers have been back. Okay, so this is where I want to put our starting point at. Put a pin in this right here. Is Let's go back to what I predicted this season. And no, I'm not going to insert a clip of what I said. I'm going to just tell you. I expected the Pacers to be a top six seed in the East. Now you're adding the guy who has the most layups and dunks in his career in his season. He's on pace for that. He's on he's on pace for that. He just came from the number one fast break offense. Who's the number two? Indiana. So you're talking about a guy whose game's already getting elevated this year. And now he's about to go play with the best pure point guard the NBA has seen since Chris Paul. And even better because the dude can shoot too with Tyrese Halliburton. Even with Halliburton out. Siakam's going to fit right away. Benedict Mather off the bench. Crazy shooter score. You got Neesmith starting. TJ McConnell. Uh, Turner. Jamie Smith. These guys that want to run. They want to beat you. They want to get in the paint. They want to dunk. They want to lay it up. They want to go fast. Siakam did that with the Raptors. This is a match made in heaven of basketball right here. When you want to talk about Blockbuster, when you want to talk about the all-star game coming here to Indy. This is the move you got to make. But don't let this distract you from the point of Indiana was already that team. That number one offensive team in NBA history on pace for. Now they just add on another piece to make it even more historic. So historic that I just moved faces. Now my storage is full. Um, I'm going to quicken this up a little bit. But my gist at that point is so historic, in fact, that even Indiana fans who are casuals, no offense to y'all, again, I'm not shouting on anybody that posted anything, but um, the people who don't really watch the Pacers are thinking, oh my God, now Indiana's back. No, Indiana's been back. The media doesn't care about us, y'all. Now they do because we got Siakam mixed with Halliburton. Awesome. I don't care media attention. I don't care no media attention. The Pacers are legit. I will continue to commentate them. I actually can't wait to commentate a game with Siakam playing as well. Um, this is going to be so fun for the sport of basketball, for Indiana as a whole, for Tyrese, for Siakam. I cannot wait. The spacing, the defense is going to be added. This is a win-win trade, honestly. I think the Raptors, you know, with their first-round picks that they're getting, that's good for them. Um, I wish them the best of luck. And, you know, thank them for this great player in Siakam. Uh, two all-star players now on the team. And this is my bold prediction of it all, of how far can Indiana go. If you want to know, and I don't know if I said this last video, Pacers will lock down a top four seed. We'll play Cleveland or Miami first round. We'll beat one of those teams in six or seven. We'll move on to the second round. Play Boston or Milwaukee. Shock the world, beat one of them in seven and then lose in the Eastern Conference Final. If you ask me today, that is what I think would happen. Call me crazy or call me right, but this Indiana team's limit is the freaking out of orbit. Like It's insane. The Pacers did it. They made a move. Blockbuster. Go Pacers. I can't wait again to commentate this team to keep bringing y'all Pacer content. Um, his first game will be against Portland, probably. He probably won't be able to play against Kings. So, yeah. Go Pacers, and we'll see what happens. Later.